Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk to you about some last day end time visions that I've had. The Lord inspired me to write a book, so I'm going to dive right into it. But it's about this one's about the heart, so it's about heart issues. So here we go. I saw a multitude of God's people in a field kneeling in prayer. Standing at the edge was Jesus. Suddenly, some of the people began to rise up and walk towards Jesus. They all had on robes as white as snow. As each one reached Jesus and stood in front of him, he reached out one hand and touched their robes right where their heart was. He handed, his hand touched their heart, and as he pulled it away, a crimson red stain appeared on their white robe. I saw a seal of crimson red form. It was a king's seal. Jesus spoke and said, I am writing the word of God on and in your hearts and putting my seal on it, so my people will know you have my power, authority, and dominion to possess the land. As they left the side of Jesus, a crimson red path appeared running out as far as you could see. They began walking out on, onto it and proceeded to cover the earth. Here's some scriptures to go with it. Psalms 51 and 10, of course. Proverbs 21 and 1, 29 and 2. Matthew 7 and 29. Read some of, or look at some of my other videos. Look at the one about the election vision. Jesus is at the center. Look at please watch some of them, you know, and if you're a subscriber, all you got to do is email me or anybody can just email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com, send you a copy, a free copy of the book, it's awesome visions, there's 169 pages, last day end time visions, some are about blood, oil, fire, and water, just really awesome visions, it's, it, it's not me, it's not the book, it's the content of the book, you really need to get it, just, and it's free, so, you know, what have you got to lose, so anyhow, look at, Look around you, look at the news, look at the situation in America. It is a heart issue, you know. The media is playing all this divisive stuff. Of course, the more divisive it is, the more angry people are, the more racial people are, the more the news sells, you know. They kind of do rat. They kind of do lie. They wrap up some lies in the truth. It's kind of hard to decide which is real and which isn't real, you know. It seems like there's, when you watch it, it seems like there's trouble on all sides. It's a lot of it's based upon fear. Look at my video about fear, spirit of fear. God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. You know, it's time for a heart change, a heart transplant. Accepting Jesus in our hearts as our personal Savior. You know, a lot of the religious world, and I'm just going to come out and say it, talks about God. America talks about being a godly nation. You bring Jesus into the equation, and a lot of people run and flee. But really, that's God's ultimate plan for the salvation of mankind. Read John 3 and 16. I get it. I understand there's more to the Bible. There's a lot more to the Bible. 17, 18, and 19 is a warning to the people. Read, read John 14 about the vine. You know, there is some warnings to the people. Jesus gave warnings to the people, but that's not my message. It's not about fear. It's not about doom and gloom. It's not about winning people out of just fear. It's about winning people out of love, a heart change. When your heart's changed, you'll want to do what's right. You know, 90% of what I do is, is probably right and righteous and holy and acceptable to the Lord because I really, really try. If I know that there's some sin in my life, I put it before the Lord. I, I get rid of it as soon as I find out about it. But I still need some deliverance. I need deliverance from tailgaters. I hate tailgaters. Up till about a year ago, I used to give them the finger, flip them off. How Christian is that? How much like Jesus is that? You know, now I just honk at them and I'm still a little angry, so I still need deliverance. You know, sometimes I pray for them. I'm getting better at it, but I, you know, I'm not perfect either. So what I'm, what these visions that I'm having are about a last day end time move of God. We're in a grace dispensation. Watch some of my other videos that talks all about that. Please. Just, just watch them. Watch them in their entirety. I tried to make them about five minutes. I'm going to try to make this one about five minutes so it can be short. You know, we are in a grace dispensation, and Jesus planned it that way. God planned it that way for the last day, end time, move of Him. You know, you don't believe it? Read, read the, read the, not read. Watch the video about economic collapse. Some of this doom and gloom stuff is already taking place. You know, this country's already collapsed. It's broke. 
20 trillion dollars in debt going deeper into debt but that's not my message that's not fear it's a heart change our politicians need a heart change america needs a heart change john kelly needs a heart change or he would have made the comments he made there's nothing honorable about the civil war on the from the confederate side that it was just a, a racist greedy bunch of people that wanted the the economics drove the force and they didn't care what they did the whole race of people you know, bottom line, and I'm not racist. I'm far from it. You read, look at some of my other videos and you'll see that I'm not. So I'm not jumping on the bandwagon like all the media did and just hammer it down your throat and everybody's racist, everybody's racist, everybody's racist. But, you know, it's a heart change. It's a heart issue. When you get your heart right with Jesus, things will change. That's what this country needs to do, get back to the heart issue. So anyhow, the free copy of my book, Steve Youngstrom at Yahoo.com. Just email me, comment, put comments on Facebook, on, on YouTube, on whatever you want to do. Comment on my site, please. I want to hear your comments. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.